Hey everyone, welcome back to Cosmonaut Mostly. Yeah, this is um, in the uh, uh, Workers' Republic with the uh, Resources Soviet or something. Uh, yeah, uh, okay, uh, right. It's uh, It's been uh, a little bit of a, a time uh, upgrading various... Uh, um... um Roads and infrastructure. Yeah, that's that's uh, that's what I was doing. Uh, so we've got basically a gravel road network now, and that's um, that's definitely going to be a thing. Um, right. Uh, we also are uh, producing gravel at a uh, pretty decent uh, rate, um, and we're exporting it. So we're exporting gravel. Uh, we got 12 uh, dumper trucks running a gravel export run. And it occurred to me we could probably get better, uh, better money if we uh, were working on something uh, like a, a second tier product, right? Um, so if we look at the economy and we look at the prices, so... Um, we have uh, gravel. Oh, um, gravel uh, sells for twelve, right? Um, but we can make prefab panels. They sell for twenty nine. Okay. Um, and uh, they take uh, cement. And uh, uh, where is it? Um, miscellaneous uh, construction prefab, right? Uh, it takes uh, so maximum production is uh, 71 tons uh, per workday, right? That takes 65 tons of gravel and 10 tons of cement. So um, gravel at 12, right? And cement at, uh, uh, let's get that back. Uh, cement uh, at 58. So eh, maybe I need to be making cement first. So that means I need coal. Uh, well, let's look at uh, what uh, cement takes 22 tons of coal and 210 tons of gravel. Uh, so at uh, 13 or so for uh, uh, 210 gravel uh, and uh, 22 tons of coal coal we buy at 21 okay so we need to sell that because that makes uh, the uh, cement is at um, so 81 on max production 81 so we would be we would need to sell cement for a little over 40. So cement sells for 52. I think cement might be and that would be if we were importing the gravel. So I think maybe we should make a cement plant. Um, yeah. I think a cement plant. Okay. So a cement plant, um, if I put the cement plant right here, can't build due to infrastructure. Um, oh, power line. What if I put it here? Uh, 
Um, oh, come on. Oh, I could put it there. I kind of like that notion. Okay. What if we put it there? Um, yeah, what if we put it there? Uh, and then it outputs to here, right? Yeah. Um, right. Okay. And this. Okay, well, we want to... That needs steel... Ah, okay, so we'll assign that one to uh, here and here. Uh, and cranes are us, and excavators are us, I suppose. Um, yeah. Okay, so we'll build that. Uh, this is going to cost a bit to build. Uh, so, you know, don't get me wrong, it's... Uh, going to be expensive but uh now i want to check can the uh, workers get there no um okay uh i think we need another batch of workers coming up that way or hmm uh where are the footpath connectors well, um, oh, well, that's going to be a problem. Um, okay, so something needs to use up, uh, cement. Um, Right. Oh, well, I should uh, assign uh, everything here. Um, now, what does this need? It needs concrete, so that will use up some cement. Um, okay. It needs 90 tons of concrete. Okay. Good. That leaves that pauses okay now we get the delivery for this thing um, and it's all of the delivery okay good um, right uh, that uh, oh um, right uh, we need to go in here we're going to need to uh, borrow a little bit more uh, so that uh, we can actually afford to finish this, right? Um, okay, we got our crane over here. Now we need some workers who have arrived. And winter is here. Uh, this is going to slow some stuff down, uh, but... I want to get uh, concrete production up, or, or cement production up, right? And then from there, I can get prefabs up. And uh, the prefab production can, uh, uh, can produce, uh, you know, quite a, uh, quite a bit of uh, uh, income because we won't have the cost of uh, cement imports. Now, we're uh, waiting for asphalt to come in and gravel. Did we assign the gravel people? Um, we didn't. Uh, assign a new construction. Yeah, we'll bring the gravel in now. Uh, that seems like a good idea. Um, and excavators are us is uh, in there and uh, right groundworks is operating okay 
yeah, we're just about uh, sorted here on the uh, on the first stage of construction there. Uh, this will soak up as many mechanisms as we have. Uh, and that's okay. Uh, right. It's going to need a boatload of steel. Yeah. And a boatload of concrete. <laughs> yeah. Um, right. Okay, we got mechanisms arriving. Uh, one, two, three... Three excavators are there, so that should make reasonably quick work of that. Now we need one more asphalt delivery, and we're delivering workers as well. So that'll make that tick along faster. Um, is that a... that is the last... that should be our asphalt. Okay! Then the next step is going to take a while because it's going to need a few thousand work days and enough concrete to uh, weigh down an entire republic, right? Uh, and that's fine. Um, okay. Uh, so things are still operating over here. Uh, yeah, we're doing fine there. Um, okay. Right. This. Um, yeah, so that's uh, going down quite quickly uh, by simply having the uh, resources to uh, staff a construction site. Things uh, construct a lot faster. So, uh, yeah. Uh, as you can see, this is uh, ticking down almost as fast as if we were uh, paying uh, for the construction. Uh, and, you know, I'm kind of good with that. Um, right. Okay. Um, let's just look here. Our uh, government loyalty is sitting at 42%. That hasn't changed, so there's nothing to worry about there. Um, right. Okay. So... Um, uh, we should be okay. Uh, now, a lot of that uh, lack of government loyalty is going to be in all these uh, um, villages that are somewhere on the map. Yeah. Um, show mini map. These villages, right? Uh, drop back in here. Yeah. Uh, hide that. Okay, good. Um, where are we here? Uh, we have... We are constructing a cement plant. You know, we can export cement. That, that, I'll bet you that would be uh, the thing to do. Uh, import the coal and export the, uh, the cement. Yeah, uh, I think that is, in fact, the thing we should do. Export the cement, and uh, that will probably turn this around. Uh, quite substantially. Uh, notice that uh, we're actually ahead of imports right now. Um, we're not going to stay that way because we're building something that's using boatloads of steel, right? Uh, and that's expensive, right? Uh, but uh, we are... Uh, we need cranes to come in. Uh, but our... our uh, concrete purveyors here are uh, busy bringing our concrete in um, right uh, we need 110 more tons of steel oh there's another step after that with steel and mechanical components right uh, but anyway uh, we need uh, another big stack of uh, steel and uh, yeah uh, so that uh, that's going to take a while to accumulate, because I'm pretty sure. Um, no, it's uh, it's here. Uh, yeah, we don't have any uh, amount of steel in there. Uh, but we are importing it, so. Uh, 
Right. Um, we, yeah. Uh, the steel is coming in reasonably quickly. Um, right. Oh, yeah, yeah, we have uh, another batch of steel coming in here. Um, and we've got cranes operating, so our work days are going to go down quickly as long as resources are there. Uh, right? We have delivered a bunch of steel. Yeah, okay, so that's going to, uh, that's going to tick along nicely there. Um, I think... We can turn off the uh, the cement. Oh no, we need to get this plant running first. But no, we've got eleven hundred of the stuff here, and yeah. Hmm. Okay, so uh, what I want to check is uh, Miss. No. Um, construction. Uh, cement plant. Uh, okay, so uh, we're going to potentially be at maximum output, be using uh, 22 tons of coal. So. I'll want to have a uh, coal import uh, coming in here and our we'll want gravel coming in we can deliver both of those by truck by conveyor even um, so a truck aggregate unloading yeah uh, truck aggregate unloading that's what we need up there um, Right, okay. So, uh, we're going to go in here. Is that here? Um, for cargo. Road cargo. Truck aggregate loading. Truck aggregate unloading. Um... Right. Can we put it here? Hey, we can put it there. Nice. Okay. Yeah. I'm good with that. So if we build that, Okay, now we're going to need a uh, uh, conveyor, uh, which we'll need to go building in the way. Uh, so we'll need to build that. Okay. And now we need to do a road thing. I think we do that by eliminating that bit of road. Yep. Whoops. And then we do this bit of road. Um, you know what? I'm just going to... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to build it up to there. Okay. Build it. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, so if we let that build, uh, okay, how's this doing? Uh, we've got, uh, oh, we're not doing too badly here. Uh, we just need 100, uh, 100 tons more steel in there, and uh, yeah, we'll be uh, pretty solid. Um, right, uh, I'm building this bit of road in one chunk, uh, and then I'll build the driveway here. And uh, we'll bring in the we'll either the coal or we'll bring in 
either the coal or the gravel into here and possibly bring another yeah I might bring a, a second aggregate for the uh, other one yeah it, you know it makes sense actually to, uh, to reserve this area over here for a train connection um, yeah I think that probably would be the good good thing to do there it would be a, a train connection um, it, like if we were to uh, go in here and uh, uh, cargo no um, rail for cargo train aggregate Train aggregate unloading. Yeah, so if we were to put one here, um, well, we could put one over here. Well, over like this. Yeah, we could, and then get the uh, conveyor across the road. Yeah, uh, okay, so we could do that. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to do that in the immediate future because rail uh, in Cosmonaut rail is a right pain to build and uh, I'm almost certainly going to get fed up with it and purchase pieces of it uh, when the time comes and that's down to uh, rail construction here there's no possible way to construct something by bringing construct rail by bringing in the materials by truck on a nearby dirt road or something and construct a piece of rail you have to get the uh, you have to construct all of the rail from the rail on a rail vehicle and that's fine when you're building a line through the middle of nowhere or something or just a long stretch of line but when you're building a complex interconnect uh, like coming into a station or something it really uh, the way the uh, uh, rail construction vehicles uh, work the, their intelligence in here makes that uh, very very difficult to do sensibly and that um, uh, and that's uh, one of the reasons I think you'll find a lot of uh, players largely ignore rail uh, okay we're just about down to the final stage of construction on the cement plant Um, right. Uh, okay. Now you might be wondering why the cement plant is taking gravel and coal to make cement. Well, uh, my theory is gravel is a stand-in for all sorts of uh, mined, uh, crushed, refined rock. And uh, I, I believe you get cement by baking limestone and uh, that uh, that would be why uh, the coal and the gravel I think uh, and for a simplified economy that kind of works so you know I'm not knocking it so much but uh, you, know, it, you know it's a thing uh, oh we need more workers to come in here uh, we're down to two but the work days are still counting down um, do we have more, uh, buses come? We do have buses coming. Okay. Um, yeah, well, that's the thing about winter is it slows everything down, right? Uh, and that's, um, that's kind of realistic when you, uh, get down to it. What's this? Let's just go and check in on our uh, operations here. Um, we have no professors. Um, hmm. Oh, now we have professors. Okay. Well, it's not that we don't have educated people. It's just that uh, they weren't there. Okay. Right. 
Um, okay, that's ticking down much better now. Uh, okay. So, uh, cement. Oh, our road is uh, sorted out here. So, now I can build the uh, driveway. Uh-huh. And uh, build it. Yeah. And that one is going to need uh, uh, labor. Yep. Okay. Build it. Yep. Good. Uh, right. Okay. So that'll get that. This will, uh, this will keep ticking down. Whoa. No, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to come in here and, uh, take a look at the construction from a, a bleaker angle. Uh, okay. Well, you know, this looks absolutely terrifying. <laughs> it really does. Um, okay. Uh, right. Uh, okay, so it's uh, continuing to, uh, to do its thing. Uh, are we bringing... We are bringing labor in there. Okay. Uh, ah, we should uh, tick through the uh, remaining workdays pretty quick here, and then we'll get on to delivering even more steel. Right. Uh, under 100 now. Yay! Okay. And on to more resource delivery. Okay. Well, that is uh, constructing nicely. Um, okay. Where are we at here? Uh, so we need... Oh, wow. There's more stages? Steel framing. Ah. So we need steel to arrive. That means the truck has to arrive at the thing to load up. Oh, it is. Uh, and the other truck is arriving. Yep. Wow. We took out almost all of the steel with three trucks. Nice. Um, okay. And that is... Uh, about half of what we needed. Uh, right. Okay, now we need to wait for the import to re replenish. But, um, we get some workers there, and it should uh, do its thing. Now, uh, we're going to go into here. Uh, we're going to do select, and we're going to add that. Uh, no, we're going to add that to the mix. Yep. And then we're going to go over here and assign this and this. Okay. Well, that we can't yet. Can we? Apparently we can. Okay. Uh, well, that's fine. Um, what do we need here? Uh, just stuff. Okay. Just stuff. Uh, so I think I'll bring in the uh, coal. I'll bring in the coal directly to the uh, the cement plant, and the gravel will come in uh, by truck. We'll just need to bring it by truck from here to here. We need a couple trucks on that, um, and the coal will come from the border. Yep. Um, Yeah. I'll see how many uh, uh, loading bays there are here, but I think pretty much uh, I'll drop the coal here. Uh, and then... Uh, yeah, I think that's what... I'll do that. Uh, there's going to be at least two loading bays in here. There might be three.
Well, I should be able to export from the uh, <clears throat> from the uh, uh, silo. Um, okay, we have uh, we need eleven more tons of steel, which is on its way. Okay. Well, parts of it is. Anyway, uh, we've got steel coming over <clears throat> over here, right? Yep. Not all of it, but we have some of it coming there. Yep. Okay. Well, I think, realistically, uh, we can say that... Uh, this episode has been uh, has been brought to you by watching numbers count up. Yeah. Now, just before I go, let's check in here. Uh, we might be exporting too much gravel. <clears throat> That's okay. When we uh, get the uh, cement production up, I'll repurpose uh, some of the T138s on that line to the coal import and uh, gravel transport uh, for. Uh, for this and uh, and that will uh, uh, that should uh, well we probably won't even need to export gravel at that point because the cement export should be quite lucrative this is uh, 22 coal uh, as I was calculating uh, 22 coal uh, at about 20 say it was at 25 that's 550 right um, and uh, cement plant yeah so it's 22 tons of coal and six megawatt hours of power right uh, so uh, and coal uh, no we want to go in here and we want to go in here coal is about 21 so if we call it 22 yeah so that's 484 and then uh, power uh, is that megawatt hour or kilowatt hour um, Well, well, we'll say it's megawatt hour. Um, well, no, yeah. So we need. Uh, so the uh, cement thing produces uh, uh, eighty-one tons at full output, right? Uh, so we only need to get you know, like ten uh, rubles per uh, ton, and we. Uh, we, we break even on that, right? Uh, and uh, uh, it's currently, uh, cement is uh, selling at 53, right? So this is a, a high markup item. And that is uh, precisely why uh, I chose to do this. Uh, you know, I'll be honest, I've never actually taken this path to breaking even before. Uh, but, you know, it uh, seems perfectly logical, you know. Uh, we have gravel. Uh, gravel's easy to uh, acquire. Uh, now we're down to just work days over here, okay? Um, gravel, gravel's really easy. Uh, you just need manpower and uh, some infrastructure. And, that, uh, and you can cut the manpower requirement by... Uh, 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 putting mechanisms in the uh, uh, the uh, quarries. Uh, yeah, uh, you can put excavators in the quarries, and uh, then you don't need any uh, labor. And uh, that means like you can have a remote quarry with like no people there. And uh, wait, oh yeah, it's not quite done yet. Uh, it needs. Uh, it needs uh, workers to arrive, right? Yeah, it needs workers to arrive. And they're coming, so... 
uh, yeah, so this is, uh, that's ticking down. Uh, that is, uh, right. Okay, uh, well, uh, this will, this stuff will all finish up uh, next, uh, next episode for sure. And then I'll be getting the exports on and maybe we'll be getting ahead of the loan. And uh, that would be uh, that would be quite uh, that would be quite wild uh, to be getting ahead of the loan. Uh, finally, uh, you know, get some actual uh, cash coming in. Uh, then we can uh, not worry about uh, potentially going bust. Right. At least not uh, not from the basic infrastructure we have going here. Right. Uh, we have 14 workers on site. And uh, those uh, workers are running four cranes, right? And uh, uh, those are going to, uh, those work days are just going to count down. Because now we have 21 workers on site, right? Uh, yeah, um, we're just about at the end of winter. And, uh, you know, things will uh, pick back up quite uh, significantly when summer uh, starts up, when the roads aren't blocked by snow, right? Uh, and uh, that's, uh, you know, the last week of February or so is when the snow melts, right? And, uh, right, okay, uh, our cement uh, operation is now up and running. Uh, we do not, it has three parking spaces, okay. So I can deliver the coal into there and the gravel into here, or the, I could do it either way around. I can deliver the coal into here and the gravel into here. Then I could run three trucks into here, uh, delivering gravel, and I can run two trucks into here, and then I can pick up the cement to export from here. Yeah. Um, okay, now, do we have power? We have power, okay. Uh, well, I think, re realistically, uh, next time around, uh, this will complete, and I'll uh, get this uh, operating, and we'll see if it actually does anything useful for us. Anyway, that's going to be all for this time, so, uh, you know, like, comment, subscribe, that business, uh, and uh, if you prefer, you can dislike, you know, it's still an option. And if you turn on the bell, you might get some useful notifications or you may not. It's entirely up to you and whether you like that sort of thing or not. Anyway, uh, that's all for now. So see you back next time.